Hello everyone. So today we are going to see the purpose of text analytics. So let's start with the purpose of text analytics. Text analytics, both dynamic and static text are subject to analytics. Dynamic text means the text that is created in real time, whereas the static text means that the data which is stored in the database. So dynamic text is all the comments, tweets that is coming randomly. We can say it is the dynamic text and both these texts are subject to analytics. Following are some of the objectives of social media text analytics for business intelligence. First, we have to see all these four parameters like sentimental analysis, trend mining, intention mining and concept mining. So all this comes under the social media text analytics. First, let's start with the sentimental analysis. Sentimental analysis analyze and categorize social media text as being positive, negative or neutral. Like if I put some comment, so whether it is a positive comment, negative comment or neutral comment. Like if I watch a YouTube video and I like that video but if I say yes the volume of this particular video is low so whether it is positive negative or neutral we can decide so this is basically our sentiment analysis so social media system sentiment analysis mostly focus on dynamic text that is generated in real time the primary purpose of sentiment analysis is to determine how your customer feel about a pro particular product service or an issue for example as a product manager you might be interested to know how your customer on twitter feel about the product service that recently launched so i will show you with one example suppose this is my channel and if i open the comment section then i may see various comments now from this comments if i want to identify that which are positive which are negative and which are neutral so first comment says that ma'am sound kam aara hai so this is a uh, what type of comment it is so only one person has written this comment there is other many people who have watched the video have not written this comment so it also means that the audio is proper for other um, next comment is ma'am make co content on msit part 273 please so is this a positive comment yes it is a positive comment why because when students are watching this this current playlist is active so they want which playlist they want next they are specifying in the comment so it also means that the MSCIT playlist which I have created earlier they like that and that is why they have insisted to make more videos on MSCIT part 2 so in this way the sentimental analysis can be done so for any product any service if we see the tweet comment or chat then we can find out that whether the product is getting positive comment or negative comment. So sentiment is an example of text sentiment analysis tool. We will go through the following step to extract the sentiments from a document. Step one, it breaks the document into basic parts of speech called POS that is POS tag. So we have to create it like noun, adjective, verb, adverb and we have to identify the structure of the sentence based on the structure we can identify what is a noun what is an adjective what is a verb and what is adverbs then the algorithm identifies sentiment bearing phrases like terrible service cool atmosphere good video explanation was good or we can say that the video was very short installation was not proper so in this way the sentiments can be analyzed then each sentiment bearing phrase earns a score based on the logarithmic scale ranging from negative 10 to positive 10 so based on that we can find out between minus 10 to plus 10 what is the score for that particular sentiment and then step number four next the score are combined to determine the overall sentiment of the document or sentence. Documents score ranging between negative 2 and positive 2. For example, to calculate the sentiment of a phrase such as terrible service, it uses search engine required similar to the following like terrible service, near, good, wonderful, spectacular, terrible service, near, 
bad, horrible, awful. So, which it is closer. So, terrible service is more closer to the bad, horrible and awful. So, each result is added to the hit count. These are then combined using a mathematical operation called log odds ratio to determine the final score of the given phrase. So, for every comment, we have to give a score and then we have to add all the scores to get the actual score. So, in this way, the sentiment analysis works. Now, let's go to the intention mining. So, intention or intent mining aims to discover the user's intention such as buy, sell, recommend, quit, desire or wish from the natural language, social media texts such as user comment, products, review, tweets and blog posts. So, social media is an integral part of our contemporary lives and is widely used by millions of customers to express desire, needs and intention. So, based on intention, we can actually find out whether people want to purchase the product, whether they want to recommend the product, they want to quit this particular service or they desire or wish to use this service. And using the natural language processing, the social media texts can be identified and text mining can be done. So, we can get the intentions of the user. Then comes the trend mining. So, trend mining also known as predictive analytics uses huge amount of historical and real social media data to predict future events. For example, a vast amount of social media data, example comments and tweets can be mined to identify patterns and trends for new product or service development or to improve customer satisfaction by anticipating their needs. So, we can find out if small changes are required in the product or some updates will help to improve the product better. So, trends mining will help us to identify those changes or small features which will add on to the product and improve customer satisfaction. Then comes the concept mining. So, concept mining aims to extract ideas and concepts from documents. Unlike text mining which is focused on extracting information, concept mining extracts ideas from large set of documents. Thus, concept mining is useful in extracting ideas from a static social media text such as wiki content, web page, word document, news transcript. Concept mining can be employed to classify cluster and rank ideas. So, if we use this technique, then we can find out what next concepts can be used or we can rank the ideas and then we can use these ideas for the development of new product. So, text analytics, value creation cycle we are going to study in the next video. Thank you.